Okay, so I've uh, I've done the other side of the wheel now, so it's it's completely ready for um, putting the silicone on. As soon as I get done with silicone, I'll pretty much immediately sp spray it with spray paint. So it'll be uh, yeah, be ready to go. So I'm going to show you how how this goes. It's pretty basic. It's not rocket science, but uh, I'll just show you really quick here. You don't want to go overboard with it. Just try to keep the silicone, the caulking in the in the crack of the um, between the wheel and the the rod. So I've done this little stretch here. All you're looking to do is just kind of run your finger this way. Kind of, I don't know. I use the excess to kind of put it in the next area that I'm going to be working, but. Um, Run the silicone one direction and then take your finger and run it back the other direction. That way you're pushing it back into the welds that you made. And then you know that you're you're pushing the caulking into all of the crevices that are there. If you want to, just kind of run it back and forth and then take a clean finger and run it right across the top of the bead. Um, that way you know that you've kind of clear, cleaned up the excess. So that's pretty much it. Um, just go ahead and do that for both sides. Um, I'm going to do it on this side and then I'm going to spin the wheel around and then take care of the inside of this. Um, you can see that I did, already did the other side. I didn't show that on the video that I did that. The bead, when you lay this bead on this particular wheel, I don't know if they're all like this, but um, the, the rod lays particularly close to the lip of this where it rolls over into this little crevice here. Um, I imagine most of them are this way, but... Um, my particular wheel with these military tires. This is how it's been laid out. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera there, but uh, the welds are almost vertical. So but everything's cleaned up. It's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this caulking, and then um, I'll spray paint. Okay, so we're ready for paint. Um, as you can see, the wheel's done just like it was before. I put the caulking on. Um, I don't know why it's kind of occurred to me that like maybe some of you might be tempted to apply the caulking to the inside of this uh, the lip here or where the rod is. Don't do that. What, the idea behind the caulking is to hold the air pressure in when you're trying to seat the seat the tire onto the bead. So if you put the caulking on the inside when you put the, all the pressure in, it's just going to blow the caulking away from the bead. Having it on the inside presses the caulking up against the rod obviously helping the pressure stay in there. So, anyways, what we're gonna do now is just uh, paint this just so we can uh, prevent any kind of rust or anything because in the whole idea behind this is to be able to run like low tire pressures and with that you're gonna get like rocks, debris, moisture, water, stuff like that. And you don't want water sitting on this because it's gonna cause your, or cause your rim to start rusting and all this hard work that you've done to start rusting. So. What I've got is Rust-Oleum. It's a flat uh, black enamel. And uh, I picked this because the finish of it is uh, kind of like a, a soft satin. And um, really, it, in, in my mind, it helps the uh, tire kind of float across the paint a little bit easier. If you get something like a, um, I don't know, a, uh, something, a shiny surface or whatever, the tire might want to grab to it a little bit harder. It probably really doesn't make a difference, but it just, I don't know, I think it might. So that's thats why I got this. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting this here. Make sure you get on uh, both sides of it there. You really want to try to protect the, the metal that you've uh, put down and the metal that you've exposed and the weld that you've put down. So. If you use a silicone like me, you probably notice that um, the paint doesn't stick to it very well. It's no big deal, don't worry about it. Um, it just means that the metal has been covered up by the, uh, the silicone that you put down. So this is not the way I painted the wheel, I just put this down so you guys can see. I've got these blocks here. What, what I do is I put the wheel... Hold on. <clears throat> wheel on these blocks so it's up off the ground and that way I can paint it so 
just like this. So as soon as I get done with painting these, I'm going to let them dry, I'm going to let the silicone dry, um, and then tomorrow I'm going to put the tire on and uh, seat it and inflate it and mount it to the Jeep. Um, if you're like me, you're impatient and you want to mount it right away, I wouldn't recommend doing that because you might blow out the silicone that you just put down. So, and plus the paint too, it's going to get all scraped up. So. Just wait, just wait a day, wait six hours, something, to wait for the silicone to set up, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we're almost done with the, uh, the wheel here. We're at the very last stages. What we're going to do is put a valve in, um, mount the tire, and blow it up and throw it on the Jeep. So I'll show you how to mount this valve really quick. Before I get to that, you can see, hopefully you can see how this uh, this rim is looking. Um, you know, it's not amazing quality, but it's going to hold pretty good, so um, it's kind of the finished product. Alright, let's get that valve in. All you need is uh, just like kind of some soapy water, just any kind of water, just to kind of lubricate the valve as you're, uh, as you're getting it in the hole there. <coughs> back this wheel up. Okay, so you just stick the valve through the hole, get some pliers or vice grips or something there, and all you gotta do is just kinda wiggle it around. Just like that. It pop right on. No big deal at all. Okay, I'm gonna set up here for the next tire. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and mount the tire now. Um, I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible because this video is getting pretty long. Got the rim here. You want to make sure that this crevice is facing to the higher side of, uh, you know, facing up basically. Um, the reason for that is because basically the, the bead of the tire is going to have to tuck underneath here when you're trying to wrap it over the top. So I've got my tire. What I'm going to do is use my soapy water here. I don't really know how to explain this. It's just get some dish soap um, and some water. Mix it up really good. I'm just using a sponge and uh, basically just putting it on there for some lubrication. So what I'm going to do is here, let me flip it on the other side. Basically just uh, get the tire, set it on there. There's better explanations on YouTube here that you can look up, but I'm just trying to do the the complete full meal moving here. So just kind of set it up in that crevice. Stand on this portion here. Use some sort of pry bar to kind of pull the tire up into it. A lot of the time you can actually use the weight of your pocket to kind of seat the bead. And then just go back at it with the bar here. Actually, I stand on the rim and pull it over. Okay, at this point it's about halfway on, so you kind of want to put your weight on the outside of it and uh, make sure that the bottom lip is tucked up in there, not the top one. So, put my weight in here. So we're going to do the same thing to the top here, just kind of lubricate the bead, get it ready to seat on. Doesn't take much.
Okay, that's it. Now, I'm not very good at this. This is my second time doing that tire, uh, or a tire. So, it wasn't that hard. Um, but I'm sure you won't have any problem with it. Just get yourself a good bar to work with. And uh, you should be able to pull it on there, no problem. Okay, I was mentioning earlier about BBs. Um, this is to help try to balance it out if there's any unbalanced issues. Um, I've got about a pound of BBs that have been pre-measured here in a cup. There's nothing special about it. All I do is I just try to press a rim into the tire as hard as I can to kind of seat it up against there, which makes for a pretty big gap on the other side here. And then uh, all I'm going to do is just kind of basically roll these BBs into the tire. Sometimes you got to try a couple different angles. And you're going to lose some of them. They won't all go in there. But it's not too critical. What you want to do now is just make sure that you shake the rim to kind of get any BBs that might have gotten lodged in there and get them out. So next up we're just going to go ahead and inflate this tire. Yeah. Uh -huh.